New stand -ups is taking a fresh look at how kids are on site. Whether you teach kindergarten through 12th grade, the latest research says that teachers must plan with these eight practices in mind. So let's get started. With practice one, teachers plan opportunities for children to ask questions. That's the science part. For children to define problems. That's the engineering part. In science, models are used to represent a system. That's why we have practice two. Developing and using models. Now we're ready for practice three. This is one of my favorites. Planning and carrying out an investigation. It's awesome. For example, maybe you want to find out what ants like better, salt or sugar. I won't tell you the answer in case you want to find out yourself. We are curious kids and we love to find things out. Practice four is analyzing and interpreting data. Once data is collected, it must be presented in a way that can reveal patterns and relations. Maps, drawings, writings, and drawing pictures of observations. Practice five is using mathematics and computational thinking. Mathematics is a tool that is key to understanding science. And even though it may look a little different in science versus engineering, it really brings the two together. This is the Super 6, constructing explanations and designing solutions. When we see a phenomena, the seeds sprouting, or the rain falling, or ice melting, we have to construct explanations for this. Practice 7, engaging in argument from evidence. Argument is really a process. This does not just happen. It must be planned by the teacher. This practice teaches us to be a critic and a critical thing. Okay. Eight is great, obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information. There's a lot of language to science and engineering, and we have to know how to communicate the information. Extra planning has to be provided to give students time to work on these skills. Hey. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you just have to flip both the switches down because you have to invert both the triangles to make them polarity. These practices are the way of doing science that capture our interest and motivate us to learn more about the world we live in. I made airways.